He turns about. Well, 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 looks like old Petey was right. Another magic rubit to send to Davy Jones's locker. However, you are not surprised. Everyone will roll a straight initiative check. And my you and Rich, you'll be coming in last with a deuce. Deuce, drop my deuce. <laughs> Very well, you attempt to manifest this sort of binary manifestation of your abilities. It doesn't quite work, however, it has apparently given your position away as you realize you are no longer translucent. What are you going to do? I'm gonna, um, can I back up? Of course. And then... You can assume your scale in most things when it comes to a fight such as this. Back away from the center of the battlefield. And then I would like to use a pendrel blast to shoot him. Extends his hand and fires a long stream of burning green energy. 60. 60. At which point, the fellow in the parka turns. Glows with a flash of blue light. Proper base. There's crackling noise, and intense cold seems to leave his person. You feel it from where you stand, and the fire gives way to a thick mist. <laughs> Your little campfires cannot break through the <clears throat> living winter that is the blizzard. And with that, we will turn next to young Master Pete. <clears throat> Faces the pirate. At this point, only refer to as commander. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. He's not dodged. The blast strikes him in the upper shoulder. Gah! Does not burn so much as does strike. Impressive little machine. Ugh. First bite to you, my woolly little kraken. However, the last shall be struck by I. Okay. Next up is going to be you, Mr. Murray. Um, is there any sort of... Like this? What is this? Is uh, it's an area of fence. And there are areas of fence all around the outside of the lot. Is there any loose debris? There's loose debris everywhere. Okay, I'm going to attempt to take a large chunk of debris and throw it at him. He reaches down with spade-like hands, planting his staff, pulls a large section of concrete from the earth, and hurls it. Twelve. Twelve is not too shabby. He has already used that. When it hits the area of his outline, the stone shatters apart. There's again that crackling of frost and that blue light. However, this time, a large chunk of that crumbled masonry actually does have enough momentum behind it to strike him in the chest. You hear a clunk as you realize that his odd little suit must possess some sort of armor capacity as well. And with that... Pathetic. You have not the might. You have not the genius of Gregor Shapranka. My gift shall be your immortality machine. Live forever as a frozen sculpture. He levels off his pistol and fires. If anyone has an initiative left and wishes to attempt to dodge, you may do so. Dodge. By all means. Percentile, baby. Three. <laughs> you managed Much to better throw yourself <laughs> to one side. <clears throat> and after you do, the section of wall behind you is frozen with a thick chunk of ice. Here's Deft Kraken. 
Let us see if you are as good as your bluster. I as good as my bluster and then some. <laughs> Where did you get that? The so-called Commander Kraken stomps down on his peg leg, at which point <clears throat> the leg begins to ratchet and come apart. And obvious machinery like the limbs of the hearth guard itself. The leg collapses down to the earth, segments then begin to jump free of the leg, and within moments, more mass than you saw of the leg has assembled itself into some measure of platform. He steps atop it and floats several feet into the air. All the world be my seas, bucko. Prepare yourself, for I shall make ye walk the plank into most frozen waters. He levels off his blade, which begins to crackle with blue-white electricity. He stabs forward. A powerful bolt of energy will strike. Unless anyone has any dodge capability, they do not. Therefore, you are hit, and you will suffer four points of damage. The image may be broken however you wish. Oh, you already took some. I'll take it. I'll take it off. Okay. Sure? Yep. Mmm. Peter's bond is wounded. Furthermore, then, Peter, you need to make a percentile roll. The blast is attempting to shut down the mechanical components of the hearth guard. Very nice. No opposed roll there. For a moment, you're racked with sparks of electricity. It fades, however. The hearth guard is not found wanting. Car, You're a tad more saucy than the last of your number. What we done run up into the old nest. <laughs> With that, it is a new round, at the top of which we'd see young Master Narajowskis. What are you going to do? I'm going to take, uh... I'm going to use a, a blast to try to shoot him. Very well. Gar, har, har, har. He banks the platform to one side. He is surprisingly fast now that he's floating. The blast fires up and you hear as it hits the corrugated metal off toward the wall, or the, the link metal, excuse me. Next up would be our man Peter. I try shooting him as well. Ha <laughs> ha! Tis like watching a manatee attempt to go over hurdles. He goes up and more or less hops over the blast at that point. Gains a good six feet in that jump. Har, 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 har. You should see me on the seas. With that, we will turn next to young Master Maori. Is the pirate, uh, the parrot still over here? Oh yeah, it's squawking. It's a very large parrot, right? It's a very large parrot. I'm gonna attempt to... Kill the parrot. <laughs> I was gonna attempt to maybe possess the parrot to attack him at his gun. You you are you reach forward and attempt to uh, like form a, a mind meld with yeah. the parrot. Yeah. <laughs> Swear. Hey, why not? You there is a chance of anything when one wields the raw primal pendril flame. Well, you can attack his Maury, hand. make a roll to possess the parrot. No, oh, attack his hand. <laughs> this is what you brought into my house. Yeah. You made a new house of lies. Adventure. Go ahead. 70. You extend hand. The hearth guard begins <laughs> <laughs> to tilt his gauntlet. Let your will and mine become as one. Both villains stare at each other in confusion. <laughs> Let's end this. I, I, I don't really want this to be the way our day goes. I couldn't agree more, Griggy. And with that, Fire new. The ice blast misses. But this time, this builds off of what's already there. Mm.
Yeah, you're, you're turning out to be a real asset here, Blizzard. He crooks his foot down, at which point, whoop, silently skids over yonder. And there we go. All right, little Jimmy, let me show you a move I learned in the Devil's Bucket. His result will stand unless someone wishes to attempt to dodge. Cut the dodge. Dodge up with a nine. Thirty-six. You manage to throw yourself to one side, and for a moment, the ice wall crackles. The entire section of ice is struck by the edge of the electric blast, and the ice seems to react in a very violent manner. The electricity courses, conducts, and intensifies, and then subsides. It's just the wall. It didn't melt, wasn't destroyed. Will you get a move on, Parka? We'll be at it all day if you can't pull your own weight. Gar. With that, we will turn to young Master Mike. What are we going to do? Um, I want to take another shot at him. Gar, gar, gar. 47. 47 is possible. And he tilts forward the blast arcs. <laughs> you have a Laplander's aim, lad. With that, we will turn next to young Master Peter. <laughs> Master Peter. <laughs> in the past, in the past, We've discovered we had an ability to radiate a pulse of energy in every direction that he may not be able to dodge, as opposed to single stream shots. What do you got for me, Peter? I'm going to attempt to take a section of this ice mm -hmm. and it's basically barrel it in to him. But kind Throw of the towards, ice forward. It, towards his electricity saver. Okay, very good, very good. Grab the ice. Slides the skid forward with intense strength. 65. You actually do manage to send it skidding forward like so. But he is very deft with the device. No roll is necessary. He just moves aside. A bit of remodeling. With that, we will turn next to young Master Marley. Attempt to leap at him on the platform and knock him off. With a low grr, he springs forward. <laughs> 28. 28. It is not a dodge. You have managed to connect. Give me another roll. I need just a single 10 side. Six. Grr, me spleen. <laughs> I'll punch him full in the gut. There is a wrenching noise as he falls backward and the platform skids away from it. Er, down but not out. <laughs> Ooh, taking harder waves than that. And with that, we turn to the villains. He manages to recover. Arr, but he is only hopping on one leg since his leg disassembled as the platform. As I knew it would, it falls to Blizzard to end this matter. He levels off the gun. 